Teamwork, firepower, democracy. These are what you'll need if you want to succeed in the game of Helldivers. So what is Helldivers? It's a challenging, tactics-based, twin-stick shooter which allows for you and up to three other players to undertake small, commando-style missions within the larger theater of a galactic war. In this game, you take command of a Helldiver, a highly trained soldier fighting on behalf of Super-Earth in its crusade to spread freedom and democracy. Helldivers features a swath of customization options to allow you to kit out your character, both in the cosmetic sense and with a variety of weapons and tactical assets. You can choose from a primary weapon you'll deploy with, along with a diverse selection of heavy weapons, mechs, vehicles, drones, turrets, airstrikes, and others, which can be deployed in the heat of battle to help give you an edge. Helldivers features a variety of enemies you'll face, as the campaign shifts in real time once planets have been conquered. That's right, the efforts of every single player in Helldivers contributes to a calculated war effort, which is displayed in the game's map of systems available to attack. Once enough missions have been completed, the enemy's systems have been conquered, and a new one will pop up to take its place as the war continues. You'll want to tailor your weapons and strategies to each specific enemy, and you can change what gear you want to use before each deployment. Also, one thing I love about this game is that you can upgrade your weapons and strategies as you level up, allowing you to make some truly unique builds and adapt to whatever new alien threats you're called upon to face. In terms of actual combat, this game doesn't hold back. You should be prepared for a challenge from the very start and know that things can go horribly wrong for your mission if you make even one mistake. Friendly fire is in effect in Helldivers, which can make things difficult when playing with strangers or people who really aren't the best at distinguishing an ally from an enemy on the screen. Luckily, friends can revive you and redeploy you back to the battlefield. This, however, brings up my biggest negative from the game, and that is the single player. There is no true single player for Helldivers, as the missions are the same whether you're by yourself or with friends. While that, by itself, doesn't bother me much, the fact that the game's all but impossible to play on higher difficulty missions without other players really bugs me. Sometimes I want to solo a difficult part of the game, and other times, friends aren't always around, and I'd rather not try my luck with random pairings in multiplayer. Currently, it's impossible to do this, and it's my only real problem I have with the game so far. One thing to note, though, which is pretty cool, actually, is that when you're in multiplayer, and you're in a hot mess of a situation, you can increase the chances of a random player joining your game by calling in an SOS beacon. I think this feature is pretty neat, and I'm glad it's there for those times when you desperately need an ally to watch your back. Overall, I'm quite enjoying Helldivers, as I'm anxious to keep leveling up so that I can unlock new guns and make improvements on the items I've already unlocked. If you enjoy playing tough games and have a group of friends who'd like to, then don't hesitate to give it a try. Until next time, enjoy a nice cup of Liberty.